Yeah, so I studied the concept of control, and I read my two books, and I did my research, and I've come to the conclusion that we should not let things control us. Whether these things are other humans, or our own emotions, or figments of our imagination, nothing should limit another human's potential. So my first book I read was Brave New World, and it's about a society run by a government that uses science to limit the amount of pain that their citizens can feel. So they didn't want their citizens to feel pain, so they've used soma as this drug so that it's like they're all addicted to it and they use it whenever they're like scared or something. The babies, and then they're, they're like brought up in a world where they like they're just they don't know how to think for themselves. They can't make decisions by themselves because they're like babied by the government. So they may seem happy because they can't feel pain because it's been engineered. Their society's been engineered in a way where they don't feel pain. So they may think that they're happy, but what is happy to them might not be comparable to what's happiness to us because we can feel pain. So it basically defines the definition of happy, since we know pain. So then in my next book I read is called Turn of the Screw. And it's about this governess who goes and she meets these two children and she's gonna raise them, or not raise them, but she's gonna teach them like schooling and stuff. And they're these two innocent little children and she, doesn't want them to be exposed to adolescence and sex and other things, so she becomes all like bound up. She doesn't want them to be corrupted, so it gets to her head and she's just going crazy, and as they grow up, she's like, it all just gets into her head and she just goes like totally insane and she, bad things happen. And then I studied the concept album by Pink Floyd, The Wall, and it's about this character whose dad dies in World War II, and his mom is like overprotective, and it isolates him from the rest of the world, and he doesn't know how to like connect with other people, and he's all controlled by his own like sense of imprisonment, and he like becomes so encompassed by his own hatred that he becomes the thing that he hates. So. Yeah, he just like goes crazy. That's why you shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then I found this website called uh, markandangel.com and they write like blogs. And whether you realize it or not, your emotions are subconsciously like controlled by other people. So you should limit the amount of like negativity that you receive from other people. So they wrote that when dealing with a difficult or hostile person, you should take a stand. It's your life, and you cannot control what people do with you, but you can, con you can control how not to be reduced by them. So you decide now how to not let their actions invade your heart and mind. So when it comes to life, you need to be like the butcher and not the pig, not the innocent person who becomes like slaughtered by other things. <laughs>